Good morning everyone, it's Nancy Bastine. I'm back today with, yeah, do you all remember the magazine? Well, it's transformed again. Yeah, I needed something darker so this would be mystical on here. So, I've been playing with paints and, um, I took the black dilutions paint and went over it with the sponge and all my circles are coming through which is fine that's good texture and then I decided I, I needed something more on it I just been painting and painting and painting and painting different things on it all these metallic paints I've been putting on it you know and I think I have finally come out with what I want. I wanted it a dark night scene so that this could be the focal point. And then as soon as this is on here and painted, then these things can be really bright and I can make brighter things around it. Like stars and moons and I don't know you know these things can be done lighter so that's yeah that's what I was thinking that's why I went with the darker paints because I didn't know exactly the moon and the Sun was going to blend in too much with those lighter brighter colors that I had on here so much for that little announcement. Gotta put some lip balm on. Forgot the lip balm again. Always do that. When Nancy comes on and talks, she's going to put lip balm on. Okay. In Deco Art had this um, transfer paper. So I bought a sheet of this transfer paper and it's I got it out of here and it's really long and so I cut a piece off that we're going to use today and this is going to transfer it on to the page and how you do that is you lay this down it's just like carbon paper remember the old carbon paper in fact I have a whole box of it that my mother-in-law gave me. She had it in her desk from years and years ago. It's real hard to find blue carbon paper and it's really expensive to buy the graphite paper that you can transfer with. So I think I want to center this like this. And I want you guys to be all to see this and so I'm going to bring you in just a little closer but not too close to take you out of the frame okay so I'm going to use my Martha Stewart stylus that I bought it Tuesday morning I really like it it's gotten dirty already but you know it's, it belongs in the art room so I'm going to start tracing and hopefully I can hold it still because this is going to be a lot of tracing on here. I'm just going to go try to stay on the line as much as possible. And hope for the best. And this is going to come out white because this is a white transfer sheet. And I got out of the line right there, but that won't matter because I'll come back and when I paint, it'll be okay. This is how we used to transfer patterns onto wood when I was a toll painter. So 
So, okay, we got that part. Let's do her face. I googled this pattern off of clip art. It was clip art. Uh, sun and moon is what I I googled. Now, if per chance that the paint gets over um, the top of these features, you can always go back on with your uh, transfer paper and put them back on. Alright, I'm doing the doodle things. you all to see what happens when I pull the paper up. And I'm anxious to see what it's going to look like when I pull the paper up. So this magazine page has gotten a ton of paint and yeah, I wouldn't have needed to gesso it had I known I was going to end up painting it black, but you know, you do what you have to do. I wasn't sure what I was going to put on the front of it at first, and I thought I wanted those bright dilution colors, but you know, you just change your mind sometimes. Should we peek? Oh, it's going to be hard to see, I think. Oh, well. I tried. The blue would have been really hard to see. The carbon, blue carbon paper. I think we're coming right along. Oh, I have to tell you a story. Um, we, when I lived in the other house with my mother-in-law in the basement, I had the 70s retro look, you know, where you built uh, shelves with cinder blocks and you put wood across them and then you put another layer of cinder blocks and another, you know, you get the idea. Well, I brought all that wood and all that cinder blocks over here and um, I had them outside on the patio and some of them were the big, big cinder blocks with the big holes in them and there was a few that were the skinnier type with the skinny holes in them 
And I had one of those skinny types just laying on the patio. And I let, it was kind of late, and I let, well, it was after dark, and I let Belle out. And um, I have a motion porch light. And um, I could see that she was going to this cinder block and sticking her nose in that little hole. And I was like, what are you after, Belle? And I was kind of afraid to go out of there because I thought it probably was a mouse or something in there. And I've seen little field mice around. And Anyway, she wouldn't come in the house. She just wouldn't come in the house. So, I went out there. Okay, I'm going to lift this up, guys. I I hope I've got everything on here. I went out there with the flashlight, and I looked, and there was two little baby birdies in there. I think they had gone there to roost for the night. Okay, now that's going to be hard for you guys to see. I'm going to... Oh, I forgot one of her eyes. Oh, I don't know if I can set that back on there. Hmm. Oh, well. I'm going to have to draw it in. Because I forgot one of her eyes. Can you see that on there? I see where I forgot her eye. Ugh. But anyway, that's how it comes off. So anyway, I um saw these two little birdies in there, and she was just not going to leave them alone, and she wasn't going to come in the house. So I took them, took the cinder block, and carried it out front and put it on my front porch, thinking that. You know, they would be safe there for the night. Well, the bigger of the two of them, a little bit later, um, um, my husband was resting. And when he gets any any type of sleep, I let him sleep. And um, he was resting. And it got later and later. And finally, he woke up. And I told him about it. And he said, oh, I want to go see him. And so we went out there. And the bigger bird had flown out and got out of it and I was like oh okay and the little bird was still in there sleeping and um so I let Belle out for the last time for the night and she was going to come in this was probably about 12 30 it was time for her to go to bed and she wouldn't come in and I looked out there and she had something in her mouth and oh my gosh I went out there, and that little birdie, I guess, had decided to come back in the backyard, and she had gotten it in her mouth, and yeah, it was not alive. I'm sorry, guys. I, my dog's a bird killer, I guess. I was so upset, and I had to get rid of that bird, or she wouldn't have never come in the house. So I picked it up, and I wrapped it up in a paper towel, and disposed of it and that's a sad story huh and this morning I go out there and the other bird is gone so hopefully um, it will fly away somewhere else where my dog won't get it it made me so upset I just oh that just upset me so bad okay guys well this is where I'm gonna end this today and um, I'm gonna go back over it and thicken up these lines with a pen and um, then I'll be back to paint it with you guys yeah that's what I'm gonna do so we'll end it for now I need to wake my husband up he needed to go back to bed and get a couple of hours of sleep but he's got a doctor's appointment that I need to uh, well, he doesn't need to wake up yet. I guess I could just go over this with a, a pen and kind of darken it in a little bit. Uh, now, what do I want to use? I don't... Hmm. 
And I think I missed a little curly cue in here, but that's okay because I'm just going to paint those in. I think I want to use. I don't know if this will work on that paint. But I'll try. No, that's not going to work on that paint. I'm going to have to get out markers that are going to be thicker that are going to work. So I'll end it here and I'll be back in a little while after I outline this and we'll start painting it for, yeah, our journal cover. It, I'm going to leave that here for uh, reference because... I didn't get the eye right on here, so I'm going to have to use it for reference. Maybe I can put this on there and mark it in there so I can see. That's what I'll do. Alright guys, thanks for joining me today. I hope you all have a nice day and I'll be back a little later and we'll paint this together and talk to you later. Bye bye.